So this will be part 4 of our Fleet Management System version 2. In the last class, we were able to push this application to Git. We created a Git repository and pushed everything to Git, I mean to GitHub. And right now, we are going to be uh, creating the template page. I mean, what is the template page? Now, if you look at this place, you see that we have the sidebar, we have the header, and we have the footer as well, which is this design by so this part of the page we want it to be static to remain in every page we don't have to be creating it in every page so what i'm saying in effect is if, if you go to for instance to the index page now you see that the index page me second let me close all this it contains a whole lot of things it's how the head section let me just increase this a little bit give me a sec okay it has a head section we have the top navigation bar we have the um, the mail notification we have a whole lot of things and if you go to other pages for instance if you go to the profile page or maybe the basic table page you have exactly the same thing uh, right there we have the container class we have the, the top navigation we have the sidebar as well so we want all these things we want all these things this need by the header section to be only in one page and that is the layout page every other page we want to create we're going to create this page by deriving from the layout page and this is really so good because it's going to save you tons a, a lot of time and tons of lines of code that you are going to be typing without the layout page which is what happened in version one remember but in version two we are going to be using the layout page all right so the first thing we want to do is to again if you are joining for the first time please subscribe and also if you are coming from uh another um, if you are a newbie just joining me, please go to start from part one because this is actually a series that continues um, uh, from part one. All right, so I'm going to go to my application now. And the first thing I would like to do is I'm going to create a layout page. Meanwhile, the tutorial, the step by step of what I'm going to be doing here is actually available. If you simply go to type layout page Kyneton, type <laughs> layout page Kyneton. Basically, anything you type in Google, just add Kyneton and you see I already have something there. So this is the tutorial, uh, uh, the step-by-step -step of uh, adding a layout page. So this is actually what I might actually be following, but I'm actually going to be doing it in this video. So let's go back. So the first thing you want to do is to add the dependency there. So I'm going to, maybe I'm just going to, you know, seconds. Let me drag this and drop. Okay. So we need to add these two dependencies there. So we have this uh, ultra time leap. So I'm going to copy it and go back here and go to my pom.xml and just add it somewhere in my pom.xml in the dependency section. So we add it at the first item there. And I already have time leap. You can see starter time leap right here. So I already have time leap. So this second one, which is this one, I already have. So I'm not going to add it. All right. So we need to create a layout page. All right. So the layout page we're going to create uh, will be containing all these things. So the convention is to have a layout page that uh, is named underscore layout. So let me just right click and say new. It's going to be a HTML file. I'm going to call it underscore layout, underscore layout, right? Okay, so uh, add, that is fine. So this layout page is going to uh, contain everything in the, on the, the sidebar and the header and all these other things. So I'm going to go to my index page and copy everything from the index page here. I'm going to copy everything from here. If I'm too fast, please... Uh, uh, pause the video and try to absorb it or play the video in uh, a speed of 0.75 so let me go to the layout page I'm copying everything from the index page I'm going to the layout page I'm going to paste everything right here okay so this is our layout page right now okay and this is our layout page okay and yeah so now our layout page contains a number of sections we have the header the header is fine we have the sidebar this is fine we now have the main content we have the main content section and we have the we have the the 
we have this uh, right text here we have also the the section wrap up here now this design by is a footer section so it's going to remain so this part is actually going to remain so this part which is uh, this part here section I'm going to take it out right so this section here uh, which is called give you one second so this session inside the main content we have two two parts we have the deep class right text we have the session class wrapper this session class wrapper represents all these things we have these we have these so we have all these things that is uh, peculiar or that is only applied to the home page we're going to remove it because it's just a layout page so i'm going to take out this okay okay so now these are layout page um what i'd like us to do now let's kind of see how this layout page looks like without uh anything just let's see how it looks like so i'm going to come here and say underscore uh layouts and i'm going to come here and say underscore layout as well so let me just make sure i've removed all the content that is a uh, that belongs to that page uh, let me just check everything is fine okay so I'm going to save everything and then run it but before I run simply go to Fleet MS because we change the uh, XML. simply go to Maven and simply reload the project and that should be fine and go to run so when we run it now I want to see the layout page to make sure I remove all the content of the home page okay so it started at port 8080 so i'm going to go to my browser and go to underscore layout all right so we have our layout page is working perfectly well so it's, it's really okay so this this should be our layout page so every other page is going to derive from this page everything is still working fine here you can see and this is okay okay so we have our layout page now, empty layout page. Let's now create a page that derives from the layout page. So the first thing you want to do is in our layout page, you want to put uh, this line that says uh, HTML, XML layouts. You need to put it in your uh, layout. So these are layout page. So I'm going to go up to the HTML tag. I'm going to just replace the HTML tag with uh, HTML lang en and then we have specify xmlns layout is equal to this so this has to be there so there are no options so the next thing we want to do is we are done with the layout page let's create a page that now derives from the layout page so I'm going to call this page index2 and it's going to derive from the layout page so I'm going to create a new page I'm going to call it index2 index2 I will be a page that derives from the layout page add that is fine so I'm gonna just say the title will be derived uh, derived from layout actually we are going to remove this title at the end of the day so if I go back to the step so it says you need to specify the part of the layout page where you want the content to appear this is done using the div tag and layout fragment okay so if I go to my layout page, we have this layout page, I'm going to collapse the head and have the body. And we have the header, we have the side, we have the main content. So inside the main content here, this is where I want the content to be changing. So anything I place here is what I want to, um, I want to be replaced. I want it to be replaced by the content pages. So what, I, what we are saying is, I'm going to simply copy this code snippet that says layout, deep layout fragment is equal to content. So I'm going to put it right here. So everything that is inside here is going to be replaced by the content pages. Okay. So this is our layout page and this is only part that is going to be changing. So if I go back to my layout page, so where it's going to be changing will be inside here. And inside here, this empty space here, what I told you is just this tiny bit of code represents that empty space so anything we place here uh, is going to be changing and what is here 
is actually going to be replaced by the content pages. So let's see how it works. We have an index two here. This index two page now will be our content page. Now the index two does not use a layout page. So let's see. So I'm going to go to index two and say, uh, let's use a H1. This is a content page. Okay, so this is a content page. I'm going to serve this page. I'm going to go to my application controller. And instead of serving the layout page, I'm going to serve the index two. And for now, the index two is not using a layout page. So let me save everything and see. File, save all, and I'm going to just restart this application. So for now, I'm going to show you that index two does not use a layout page. And then I'm going to make this index two use a layout page. So let's go to index two, index two. And you can see this is a content page now. And now I'm going to make this page use a layout page. Okay, I'm not going to write anything in there. I'm simply going to make it use the layout page. So these are index two. And uh, I want this page to use the layout page. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the content page and you want to replace in this case now for the content page, the HTML tag is going to contain two additional attributes, which is SML layout, as well as the layout decorate attributes. So for the content page, you're going to just use this as the HTML tag of the content page. Go ahead to delete the head if you want. Later, we're going to talk about how to set the title later on. And what else do we need to do? Nothing. So once you add this to the content page, it simply uses the layout page. And let's just go check uh, how the content page, this, this is fine. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to save everything. Let's run this application just to make sure that the content page, this index two, uses the layout page. So I'm going to uh, save everything and then I'm going to restart this application. I'm going to say save all and I'm going to restart. All right, so I'm going to go back to index two. I'm going to refresh it now and you can see that it uses the layout page, okay? All right, so this is fine. Our layout page is working. And so in the nice part, we now see how we can uh, change other pages to use a layout page. For now, I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please try to make sure you understand what happened here. And in the next part, we continue. I'd like to remind you to subscribe and let's continue in the next part.